the way, this man is all the rage. The Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter. Outstanding fighter overall. But the fight time of the UFC, not a lot, because more often than not, he gets the opponent out of there in round one. Fighting behind a nice jab. Clean with that offering. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, nice technique on the side kick. You don't learn that overnight. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, it's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Oh, that's a sharp hook there by Choi. Oh, nice. Nice. Flips the punch. He's got a good leg kick. There it is. Oh, man. Another nice leg kick is there. Nice punch, man. Oh, nice jab up top by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Let's go. Keep moving forward now. Don't back off. Well, he keeps going back to the well. Oh, oh he's got him hurting here. He went high on that one. Oh, that's a big right hand that got through. Oh, just open it up on him now. Nice shot there by the champ. Beautiful. Oh, nice inside leg kick. Yeah. Just out of range with the big right hand. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, hook to the head by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. His misses are entertaining. Big power shot there. Another big shot in the head. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range there with it. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Lands a nice straight. Oh, big elbow. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, looks like the cut has just opened up on his forehead now. Favorite strike. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Fifteen seconds. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Oh, big head kick. 
time. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter with a cut above his eye. It was sustained in that round. Now the cut man comes in. He'll try to earn his money, close it up, and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stools between rounds, and I guess nothing a little Botox can't fix, but let us show you the replay and ultimately the strike that caused that significant damage to his forehead. I mean, his forehead. You, you don't see it very often, but even when BJ Penn kick Diego Sanchez, the damage and the blood that flies off the head whenever you get a head kick to the head. You ready to it's, fight? it's very difficult to ready. deal with or get a cut Good. on the forehead. He's got to change his approach now to really protect himself. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be compromising the vision as yet, but he will need to protect himself so it doesn't get worse here in the next round. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. That's a really strong leg kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, once it gets checked, you got the Anderson Silva situation. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Man, look at that jab right there. If he doesn't make some adjustments, Mommy's not going to recognize him. His nose is getting all small. I mean, he's getting battered. He's taking him right on the face, too. <laughs> Trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt music bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Push kick there to the body. Boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. All right, so a similar blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Big right hook there by Chael. Two minutes now to go in round two. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. But he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Tags him with the left. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four rounds gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. All right, 45 seconds now to go to the right. 
Choi's body getting bruised up on that right side now. Don't want to take too many more shots to that midsection. 30 seconds to go in the round. Relax. Huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, a big left hand. Oh, a huge kick to the leg. Every time he throws that leg kick, it lands with so much force. So the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor, and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut because then the blood starts to come down and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world targeting it, it becomes impossible. They call that the trickle down effect. That's what that is? Great. That's right. <laughs> Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see. Oh, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has won. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Nice jab there. Choi's hook shot is blocked. We saw that coming from a mile away. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stricken four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Hands high, hands high. Oh! Well, he misses with the left punch there. All right, so he continues to land and right on that cut. Getting a little bit hard to watch right now with all the blood pouring out. Oh, hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now. But his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability. <laughs> And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there, just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Just misses there with the left. There's his jab. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. 
Oh, nice job to block that punch. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, that's a red right. Under a minute now to go in this one. Crazy champ, the stream is steady. At what point do you at least call in the doctor to look at the cut? You got to right now. I mean, right now, someone should be in here looking at how they can save this fighter from himself. Establishing the jab here. Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Big, big strikes continue to land. Now he's backed up. And this is why you pay to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Seconds winding down in round three. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's going to need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on display. He found the target constantly. He opened up a big cut above the eye, and now he sees that he's got a wounded opponent in front of him. He is going to target that eye even more in this next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Do we it. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Back to his feet. Push kick there to the body. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, looks as though that right eye might be starting to shut. Yes, it is. Ooh, big shot land. And there's that jab. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Nice great punch. Nice. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. He passes the half. He is in a lot of danger now. His opponent has beaten him. He's battered him. And now he is wearing it. There's a ton of blood on his face. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Straight punch. Useful. Oh, massive kick lands flush. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Real quick leg kick. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see it anymore. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, right and his corner will right not down. save him. This is crazy. Can't take many of those, you better check. 
Lands a good series of kicks here. Under two minutes here to go round four. Great job setting up that high kick. Oh, straight punch. Another huge kick is true. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Just missed on the front end. Back inside the arena now, we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 42 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion.